Age 5 to 7 math is a comprehensive math curriculum that is usually used by children in the first grade. Let's take a look at how the curriculum is structured and take a quick overview of the year. Each semester of the Age 5 to 7 math curriculum comes with its own parent manual and student activity book. With some math programs, you can get away with only purchasing the student activity book, but this is not the case with Moving Beyond the Page. Without the parent manual, the student activity book would be almost useless. The first semester contains five units that introduce children to numbers, shapes, graphs, addition, and subtraction. The second semester contains four additional units that cover time to the half hour, place value to the hundreds, standard and non-standard measurement, and addition to 100. The tenth and final unit of the year is a skills review that covers the materials from the entire year. In addition to the curriculum books, your child will also utilize an interactive notebook. This item is a three-ring binder that will be filled with various projects that are completed throughout the year. In addition to documenting all that your child has accomplished during the year, this folder will also be a helpful review tool as the year progresses. The materials kit that accompanies this level will blow you away with how comprehensive it is and how easy it is to implement with the curriculum. It contains what you would expect in a math curriculum, like an abacus, base 10 blocks, and number cards. But it also has over 50 different items from playing cards to rubber bands and paper clips. Everything you need, already laid out. Another unique aspect of our math curriculum is that we incorporate real literature directly into the lessons. We use these books to introduce new topics in a memorable and meaningful way. The final aspect of our program is the Learning Gates Quiz Tool. This is a short online quiz that your child will take on a computer, tablet, or iPad. Each daily quiz will include about five new questions that relate to the content just learned. In addition, it will also include three or four review questions from previous lessons. These review questions are personalized for your child. We know which questions she struggles with the most, and we'll be sure and highlight those questions in the review. At the end of the year, your child should still remember everything that was learned throughout the entire year. Now let's take a quick look at each of the nine units. The year starts with a six-week introduction to the numbers 1 through 20. As your child works through this unit, he will pick a theme and create a dot counting book based around that theme. He will use number bonds to model simple addition problems up to 10. And will learn to order and compare numbers using number cards. Your child will be introduced to a wide variety of tools and toys such as base 10 blocks, dominoes, online games, memorable songs, games of concentration, number lines, story problems that reinforce how to make 10, recognize patterns, and skip count. For the final project, your child will create a math board game that will be fun to create and play. Players must solve math problems in order to progress on the board and win the game. Your child will find each day to be a unique experience with new and interesting ideas to explore and learn. The second unit is a three-week introduction to geometry. Following a short lesson about attributes, your child will be introduced to the simple two-dimensional shapes. She will identify shapes in her world, sort shapes by various attributes, and create pictures using shapes. Students will then learn how to identify and divide shapes as a whole, half, or quarter sized, and finish the geometry unit with an introduction to three-dimensional shapes, a topic that may initially be a bit challenging for some students. Unit 3 brings your child back to the world of numbers. It is a three-week unit that covers addition and subtraction to 10. Your child will begin by using the number line and a die to practice counting forward and backward. He will also be introduced to an equal sign and the number zero. For the remainder of the unit, your child will use a multitude of strategies to learn addition and subtraction. These include making 10, creating bead bracelets, using an abacus, and reading fun storybooks. Your child will learn to use turnaround facts, making equal amounts, and will add, subtract, and compare money. And as if that weren't enough for a three-week unit, your child will also learn to count by ones and tens to 100. If she is anything like my daughter, she'll be so proud of her new skill that she will want you to listen to it over and over and over. Mercifully, however, you do eventually move on to unit four, data and graphing. Your child will learn to collect and represent data using tally marks, tally graphs, and a lot of Skittles. 
your child then moves to pictographs, bar graphs, and of course, more Skittles. You may find that your child really appreciates our liberal use of Skittles throughout this unit. In the final project, she will use these new skills to create a newsletter for a local animal shelter that will both inform and influence its readers. This is math in action. With the fifth and final unit of the first semester, you and your child will return to the important skills of addition and subtraction, this time through 20. After a short review, your child will learn how to add three numbers together, rearrange numbers using the associative property, and add to 20 on the abacus. The remainder of this unit will introduce a number of different strategies, tools, and games that will help with memorization, problem solving, and mental addition and subtraction. Now it is time to put away the Semester 1 books and find the Parent Manual and Activity book for Semester 2. Unit 6 is designed to be a child's first introduction to time. Your child will learn to tell time in both digital and analog format. She will learn to read and write times to the half hour, sequence times, and relate times to daily activities. Unit 7, Place Value, is a six-week unit that will give your child an understanding of place value, an important skill for understanding the order of numbers and how to compare two-digit numbers. You will begin by building a conceptual understanding of our base 10 numbering system using manipulatives like base 10 blocks, an abacus, a number grid, and place value cards. Your child will build numbers with tens and ones and practice making 100 in a variety of different ways. She will learn to compare numbers and to use her comparing skills to sequence numbers. And will learn to add and subtract multiples of 10. With place value now in your rear view mirror, you will move on to unit eight, measurement. The unit begins by introducing measurement, measurement words, and measurement tools and then covers non-standard linear measurement and introduces students to weight, temperature, and volume as well. The final content unit of the year focuses on addition to 100. Your child will add two-digit numbers, add multiples of 10 plus one-digit number, adding one-digit numbers to two-digit numbers, and also learn mental strategies for addition and subtraction. The year ends with a skills review that will ensure your child is comfortable with addition and subtraction to 20, has fact fluency within 10, understands place value and addition to 100. Age 5 to 7 math is an engaging, hands-on, and literature-based curriculum that will challenge your child and prepare her for future study in math. Please let us know if you have any additional questions.